welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited to be doing because it is on another Kylie Cosmetics product. This is the Kylie Cosmetic Burgundy Palette. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Just a quick little overview. It has nine shades in it. It looks like this. They are all featured around this burgundy shade, which I adore. Um, the packaging is the same as the old, um, not the old, but the previous palette, which is the bronze palette. Um, the same really cute dripping shadow. So with that being said, um, I kind of just wanted to do a little, you know, mathematician type of thing and tell you guys like the value of this palette. So this retails for $42 on her website. There are nine shades. Um, I did the math and each shade comes out to $4 and about 60, 66, 67 cents, um, which is really good because normal eyeshadows nowadays cost about $6 and I'm referring to Makeup Geek, MAC, um, Anastasia are a little bit more expensive. They are $12 each. I think it's really worth it because the matte shades are normally $6, but the foiled shades on Makeup Geek's website are $10. So as you will see in this video, you'll see my thoughts and what I actually compare them to. So I think that this is definitely well worth the money when it comes to that. Okay, so right here I have the Master Palette by Mario, and this was $45. You do get 12 shades in this one, but even though you do get more shades, you get double the product um, of each shade in the Kylie. You get 1.4 grams in this one, and you only get 0.7 grams in these. So it's kind of, you have to weigh your options if you're that type of person um, that thinks about, you know, if you want to spend your money and what you're going to get for it. So that's kind of just something I wanted to mention because I know a lot of people were uh, wanting the Master Palette by Mario and, you know, talking about that. So another little quick backstory on this palette. Um, Kylie has said that the, this palette and then her previous bronze palette are palettes that she created um, because she feels that she wears these shades and the bronze palette shades um, the most. So she said that these are more similar to her style. The next palettes that she said are gonna, she's going to release are going to be more fun ones, colors that you know she normally doesn't wear but that she loves. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case you were wondering why these are also neutrals. So I did want to show you guys the palette in action and how some of these shadows did perform. So I did film this look right here. It's very grungy and it's something that I think um, I tried to incorporate and utilize a lot of these shadows that I could in this palette um, to show you guys exactly how they look on the eyes. So I am going to show you guys that right now. So if you want to see how I got this really grungy red maroon eye, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to start by opening this. This is the Kylie Kai Shadow Press Powder Eyeshadow Palette in the Burgundy Palette. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, especially because she posted about it a lot on her um, Kylie Cosmetics Instagram. So when you open it up, it has a little film and it has the Kylie at the top. Um, she said that this is the last palette that she's going to come out with that doesn't have a mirror So the next one that she releases will have a mirror um, And then it comes with nine shadows So I've only played with this once and it was this middle shadow right here and nothing else um, The only reason why I wanted to make sure that I use this one more than once so I can really give you guys a good idea was because I think out of all the shadows here, this is the one that is like the star standout shadow um, that I feel like we're all most excited about. Um, I feel like burgundy colors are very hard to come by, at least good ones. So I wanted to make sure that I had a really good um, understanding of how it worked and, you know, how it looked on the eyes. So with that being said, I'm just going to start out and do a... Um, pretty fairly simple look for you guys, but I'm going to try to utilize a lot of the colors. So I'm going to start out by, you know, doing what I always do, and that is priming my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and I'm just going to take this on my ring finger and just do a nice, easy, even layer. I'm going to start off by taking a mixture of these two shadows right here, and those are called Beach and Penny. So I'm literally just going to tap into both of them equally and I'm going to place this up into my crease. So they seem to be blending pretty easily. I'm very pleased with how they're blending out. 
And if you guys are wondering, this is a Morphe M502 brush. Okay, so I think that's pretty even right there. Next, I'm going to go into the burgundy color right here. Okay, so just a little backstory on this. Um, I wore this color last night for a Halloween look that I did, and um, first of all, I just want to say I absolutely love the color. I love the fact that it doesn't transfer on the lids pink, and you don't have to build it up so much to get it to be more burgundy. Um, I think it goes on quite nicely. Um, the only problem I have with it, though, as I, you know, blend it out a little bit, is that it starts to sheer out, and it kind of loses the intensity of the red that I'm looking for. So I feel like the more you build it up, the darker the color actually gets. And I know that obviously the more layers you put on, obviously the more darker and richer the normal colors get, but this literally just seems like the red changes into like a darker, sheerer burgundy. I don't know, it's very strange, but I, I'm gonna see and work with it more right now to see if it still does that. But anyway, I'm just taking a MAC 217 and I'm just placing this on my lid and my lower part of my crease on the outer two thirds. I'm just gonna go back in and blend the edges with the first brush that I used. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 242. It's my favorite thing to pack on shimmers with. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm gonna take this one right here, which is Dubai. Yes, I'm gonna take Dubai, which is this really pretty maroon burgundy shimmer color. And I'm not going to take that wet because I think the true test stands um, to see if a col the color payoff of a shimmer transfers as well on the finger as it does on the lid without it being wet. Okay, so I'm actually really liking the color payoff and the intensity of this shadow. I'm very pleased. Her last palette, the shimmers were very sheer and they didn't um, transfer on the eye as well as they did when you swatched them with your hands and fingers. So I'm actually very pleased. I know that she said that the formula for these are different as her last palette. She said she wanted them to be a lot more intense, a lot more pigmented, and a lot more um, metallic. So I think she did a really good job with the shimmers in this palette. Now I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades right here, which is Brick and Almond, the two matte browns on the bottom row. And I'm just going to place this in my outer corner. I'm taking a mixture of both just because I want to utilize as many colors as I can in this palette. I'm just going to take a black eyeliner, any coal pencil, and I'm just putting this in my waterline. And then I'm going to go back in with this burgundy shade. I'm gonna take this naked shade and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone and my inner corners. I love the way that this lid shade is making my brown eyes pop. Like in person, in this light, they're making them look very um, red and just vibrant, not like that ugly poop color they always look. I just thought it was fitting to finish off this look with a Kylie um, lip kit color. This is the color Leo. It's from her birthday collection, but you can still buy it as a single um, color, I believe. Um, I don't think this came with a lip liner. If it did, I lost it. I don't remember, but um, I'm just going to use it without a lip liner. Okay, so now that I have done my entire face, um, we're gonna move on to the actual review and swatches. So let's start with the swatches. I'm going to do them all on the back of my hand and hopefully you guys, you guys will be able to see. So I have swatched all of the shadows on my hand. Um, I did it all with my fingers and I mean, I think it's only fair. I didn't go back multiple times into the um, palette, honest truth, but Okay, so this is Naked. I don't know if it's 
transferring as well on camera. Um, the next one is Beach. After that, we have Penny. Then LA. And then over here, we have Burgundy. Dubai. Brick. That shiny one is New York right here, and then we have Almond. Burgundy is by far one of my favorites. I think it really performs well. Um, like I had mentioned um, when I played with it last night, I felt like it kind of changed color after using it for a few layers, but I found that if you kind of just pack it on first and then blend around it, it kind of doesn't do that. But if you go in and you just blend and blend and blend, then it'll start losing its pigmentation. Another one I really, really like surprisingly is LA, which is this shiny one up here. Um, it is extremely metallic, like it's insane. Okay, so like I mentioned, Kylie said that she reformulated the metallic and shimmer shades in this so that they'll be extra shiny because in the bronze palette, they just didn't perform that well. Honestly, guys, I say this. Hands down, they remind me so much of the um, Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. I would say the one that stands out to me the most is the shiny orangey gold, which is LA, which is this one right here. The other two perform just as well. I think that the metallicness in this one just speaks for itself. It is gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to play with it. I think that the mattes are really nice. I think that they are really solid, good mattes. I don't think there's anything spectacular about them. They remind me a lot of the MAC matte shadows, the regular matte shadows, not the matte squared, um, but they are just very solid. I think she did a good job with that formula. I really like Almond. I think this one's extremely pigmented. I really do like that. So she formulated Naked, which is this first one here, she said in her Snapchat. If you guys don't have her on Snapchat, she does speak a lot about her her Kylie Cosmetics line which I think is awesome she gives like little tips and tricks and her reasoning behind what she does and you know things that are gonna launch and stuff so if you guys don't have her on that and you guys are interested in Kylie Cosmetics then I would add her but yeah she said that Naked was formulated to be an inner corner and brow bone highlight which is why it doesn't have the exact same formula as the other shimmers in this palette because she didn't want it to be too intense which I can understand I think that's that was cool of her although I mean for me i never really subtle. I don't really have like an everyday look that's very um, work appropriate if you want to say. So for me, I mean, I wish it was formulated the same as the other ones because I really like the intensity of the other ones, but um, it still performed fairly well on my eyes. So what I would say about this palette is that it is I know I've been using the word solid a lot, but it's just a solid good standard palette. If you are, you know, one of those people that loves grungy makeup and that, you know, you just like that really warm, red, like 90s inspired look, then I think this would be an awesome palette for you. If you don't have any of these colors in your collection and you really want to, um, you know, just have more of a wide variety, then I think this is a very good option. I think this is a better option than the bronze palette would be for you because like I said that one just wasn't really my favorite. I gave my bronze palette away um, just because I I didn't use it. I thought you know the quality wasn't that great but I can honestly say hands down this is like five times better than that one. Um, I think like I said the mattes are good. The shimmers are just amazing to me. I'm like blown away by how good the shimmers are. If you already have a lot of these colors in your collection already, or if you're just not a Kylie Jenner Cosmetics supporter or fan, then I probably would just skip this palette altogether because it's not a standout palette that you need to have. The, the formulation of a lot of these shadows are not groundbreaking, and I think you're not missing out if you have all these shades, but... If you are a supporter of hers and you like her line, then I definitely would pick this up because this is def definitely, hands down, one of my favorite things that she's come out with so far. I think she did a really great job on this. Um, I think this would be a really great present for Christmas or for someone who really likes makeup. I love this and I think that the colors are fairly unique for what we are seeing in palettes today. I think, you know, we always see warm colors, but they're always like very orangey and browned. Granted, they do have the same in here, so I think it's very wearable. But then again, they also have these red burgundy colors that I think is very unique.
I really think that the burgundy shade is very similar to Mars from the Manny MUA palette. The only problem that I had with Mars is that it transfers on the lid very pink. It transfers on the lid very pink and this one is true to its burgundy color and you don't have to build it up to get that really nice intense red shade that we all like. Okay, so on this side we have the Kylie Burgundy shade and on this side we have the Manny MUA Mars shade. Okay, so right off the bat I noticed that the Burgundy Kylie shade has a little bit more purple uh, undertone to it. The Manny MUA one is still fairly pigmented, but I noticed that when I was putting my finger in it, the it swatches very hard and the formula is very dry. Um, granted, it's not a bad shade because if you have this, you know that it is a good shade. It's just a little bit more drier and less creamy than the Kylie one. Okay, guys, so this was my review for the Kylie Burgundy palette. I hope you enjoyed it. My overall thoughts on this palette is that it is a really good palette and I am really happy that I spent the money on it because I think it will make a really great addition to my collection. Um, I think that even though I have a lot of similar shades to the shades in this palette. It is unique in its own way and I love the fact that it's compact and I can take it with me and it I feel like I can get a lot of different looks out of this. So yeah, that's my final thoughts and I hope you like this video. Um, I recently just got the Kathleen Lights um, by Morphe palette so if you guys want to see a review on that, give this video a big thumbs up so I know to post that next. So I love you guys. Um, have a very safe and happy Halloween. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and I will see you in my next video.